Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to show you what actually fits in the wallet on chain versus the small classic flap. This wallet on chain is actually new to my collection. I got this in September from Paris. I did an unboxing video on this one. If you are interested in seeing that video, I will put up a link up here and you can check it out. So this bag is new to my collection. However, the wallet on chain itself is not new to me. I have owned another wallet on chain, which is this one here. And this wallet on chain, I have had it for over 15 years now. I have used this one a lot. The wallet on chain has been around for ages. In my opinion, it is considered one of Chanel classic small leather good. So yes, it's not considered a handbag when it comes to Chanel bags. It falls in the category of small leather good or SLGs. However, to me, I personally consider this as a handbag because I do use it like a handbag. Especially now, we're more into the micro bags and the mini bags. I would say this is very similar in size compared to the mini as far as the width here. But I will show it to you side by side with my classic small because I don't have a mini at the moment. When we think of the wallet on chain, we really think of it as like a wallet. So it probably doesn't fit that much. But you'll be surprised because the wallet on chain can actually fit a lot. So first off, let me quickly show you the bag. This is the wallet on chain in the classic style. It is in caviar leather. The color was from the 22K collection, I believe. It is almost like a rose cura color. And the back here has a pocket. It is in the champagne gold hardware. And to open on the inside, we have a zipper compartment here, one slip right here, and then we have one main compartment. Right now, I don't have the base shaper here, so if you do put the base shaper on here, it will give you more structure. It has six card slots here, and on the very top, it does have the zipper pocket. It actually goes all the way to the bottom right here. That's my, my fingertip right here. If you want to hide things, that would be the perfect slot for it. So let's say if I travel and I bring a lot of cash with me, for example, I think I can hide it in there all the way at the bottom so that it's not just out in the open right here. I think I can fit my passport in there too if I'm not mistaken. I'll show you in a little bit like what can actually fit in here. And then we have this one compartment right here as well. The wallet on chain comes in multiple different variations. This is the very classic one. The other one that I have is the timeless wallet on chain. This one doesn't have the hardware in the front. It has the embossed CC here. However, this one has been discontinued for quite a few years now. They don't make this collection anymore. But they do have many other variations. They have the Boy Wallet on Chain. They have the Chanel 19 Wallet on Chain. And I believe they have some seasonal one as well. When I bought this, I just love the color. So I had to get it. This color is beautiful. Look at this pink. It's like the perfect pink. The wear and tear on this one, it's really, really good. Because again, it is in caviar. I don't know as far as this color because I haven't owned it for that long. It's only been two months. This is in a lighter color. So, you know, of course, it's going to be a little bit more high maintenance as far as the color itself. But with the caviar, it's supposed to be very durable, just like any of my other caviar bag. This one has been 15 years. And look at this. It's in almost perfect condition. It does have some wares around the corner, but you almost cannot see it. So yeah, I'm expecting this one to be just as good. The grain is not as big as the grain on this one though. But as far as durability, based on my experience with this one, I can almost guarantee that this one is going to be just as durable. So now I'm going to compare with the small classic flap. Let's say if I were to have the base shaper to the wallet on chain, then the base will stretch out this much. 
and side by side with the small classic flap this is what it looks like it's a little bit shorter smaller yep and this is the top this is the front so I would compare that the width of this one is very similar to the classic mini rectangular but the inside is obviously a little bit smaller aesthetically I mean they are both classic and this is one of my favorite bags just because how much I love this color the pink but then I love this pink too this is more like a settle pink a little bit easier to pair with outfits compared to this one this is more a Barbie pink uh, well anyway now I'm going to show you what actually fits in this bag. These are all the items I'm going to try to fit in the bag. So I'm actually going to insert the credit card first down here. So I have all six cards in here as you can see. For now we are just going to assume that I am taking this bag to travel with. The first one, very important to me, is my portable charger. So I will put it in there and my hand sanitizer right there. I cannot live without a chapstick and a lipstick. So these are my essential right here. And then also a little travel perfume. And the next item I have is the AirPod and my little cable. Because this charger, I do need a cable or else it won't work. Now I'm going to see if the passport can actually fit in there. Yep, it fits. I can push it all the way down. Okay, so for safety purposes, I can do that and hide my passport in this pocket. And that way, I don't risk it falls out when I go in and out of my bag. Or the other thing that I can do is I can just put it in the front compartment right here. I think I would prefer to put my passport in this pocket. And then I can just use this little compartment here for cash. So I have a few dollars <laughs> so I can fit the cash in here and then zip it in the back here I can put some like metro card bus card or maybe hotel room card can be back here so that way if I need to access it I can just grab it from here without going in and out of the back so right now I have it really tight as you can see I kind of have to like press it a little bit up here to have it close and this is what it looks like with everything inside and you can see right here on the side it does stretch out and this is the full capacity here that's why it's a good idea to get the base shipper so that way you kind of stretch out the back and keep the structure of the back and then you have a base already too so when you put things in there it helps protect the bottom I do have a base shaper I just don't have it here with me I got it on Amazon and it's really inexpensive so I'll put a link in the description just in case if you do need to get one I think it's really helpful to keep your back structure and also to keep the inside a little bit more clean as well so this is how much stuff I fit in the wallet on chain if I'm not traveling, then I don't need to take my portable charger and I'm not gonna bring my AirPod. So no portable charger, no cable, and no AirPod. Say if I wanna fit my phone in the bag, I can certainly do so. This is my phone and I think I have the second biggest phone already unless you have the one that flip and it double out as like a mini iPad. But this is the Samsung S21 Plus. So it is already a really big phone with the case on as well. And I can just slide it through the back with these guys here. I put the perfume in, the lipstick. You guys can see my hand sanitizer and my chapstick. Okay, the last thing is my key fob key go in there yep that's everything in there and now i can close it it is as you can see a little stretch room it takes a little bit of work to close but yeah it closed with no problem it becomes almost the size of the mini when it all stretched out yeah 
from my own experience the more you use it the leather will get softer and it will naturally stretches out I have this one like I said for 15 years now and this thing has stretched out so much I can fit a lot of things in here but you know even for a brand new one like this one it still fits everything that you would need on a day-to-day -day. okay now I am going to show you what actually fits in this small classic flap I love this bag by the way this is my baby since this is not an actual review of this bag I'm not gonna go too much into detail I'm simply going to show you what fits just so that we can compare to the wallet on chain so inside of this bag I have this organizer I think to make it easier, I would just put things in here. My AirPod, hand sanitizer, perfume, lipstick, chapstick, and the cord. But because the classic flap is not the wallet on chain where it has the card slot, I'm gonna need somewhere to put my credit card. It helps to have the organizer because then it's easier for you to organize. So I would bring my flat card holder and put it in that slot. So that's everything in here. It feels comfortable in the organizer right now, but I'm not gonna stuff it yet because I don't know if it's gonna fit into my bag just yet. So I think I'm gonna put it inside the bag first and see. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so everything fits nicely. The small classic flap as you can see comfortably I can fit everything in here like this so considering this is a wallet on chain it can actually fit a lot because all of these things you see here that fits in the small classic flap can still go into the wallet on chain it amazed me to know that the wallet on chain can fit just as much as the classic small oh wait I still need to fit my passport in here right and get this the Mona Lisa pocket for the small classic flap is a fake one. There's no pocket. So it's only for look. Say I can put my passport back here. Yep. And then I need room for some cash, which is in the front. It doesn't have a zipper though, but I can still put some cash in here, which is fine. So let's say if I travel and I need to rent a car, I need a key. I can still fit my key in here. So the classic small will fit just a little bit more compared to the wallet on chain. Obviously we know that the price on these two are a huge difference. The reason why I want to compare what fits in here and here is to really put things in perspective because for just a tiny little bag that is not even considered a bag, it is a wallet but it can surprisingly fit so much in there and I'm very pleased because when it comes to travel I want to bring something small and very light that can fit in my carry-on I travel for three months with this bag it was all I wear every day for three months so I know how functional it is it can be very versatile it is obviously a crossbody bag but you can Shorten the chain here, which I'm gonna show you in just a little bit and make it into a shoulder bag And you can wear it for evening. You can wear with any outfit Especially in black color. My other one is a pink color So, you know, it probably won't go with all of my outfit But I am still planning to bring this with me on my next trip because I just love how versatile it is and how small it is and it's easy to pack I don't have to worry too much about about it it's pretty carefree and it fits enough of my daily travel essential okay so this would be the chain this is how long it is so I am five feet four inches for reference so it sit pretty low on me and what I do is I get one of these link I believe you can ask your Chanel SA and they can give you this link here or you can just buy it I bought mine from Amazon so I'll put the link in the description in case if, if you need to get them these one the way they make it is it comes with the little screwdriver if I loosen the screw right here then this thing right here you can move it in and out um, there are a couple ways on how you can shorten the chain if you don't want to buy the link the way I used to do it before is I just crisscross it like this and then that's it 
easy, right? But then when you open your bag and go in and out of your bag, you have like chains sitting everywhere. Another way that you can do it, I will put the link onto this chain here and then I will do it on the other side. So I just hook one end onto this side of the chain and then the other end onto this side. I haven't locked it yet because I want to show you guys the other way as well. The link kind of sit in the middle like that. And then that way the chain is shorter, but then when you open it, the inside still has all this chain in the middle. So when you put things in and take things out, the chain might be in the way. But the other way, on one side of the chain, usually I pick on this side. If I want to shorten the chain by this much, then from here, I just put on the link. So I just hook the link right here onto the strap. And then I'm gonna lock it. I just have to make sure that it sit in the middle and I screw it. So now you have this bits right here. You can just put it inside the bag and that's it. With this way, you can decide how much do you want the chain to be shortened and it just sit on one side of the bag and when you open the bag you don't have chain like hanging everywhere right here in the middle so i think this way it looks a little bit better cleaner easier too it's super easy thinking of adding the walk to your collection I hope that this video will help you decide I know this is not a thorough review I actually just wanted to show you guys what really fit in here and here but I just thought I'd give you guys a quick review as well because the walk has been very popular but then again I know some people like it and some people don't but for those of you that are in between or if for those of you that are contemplating on adding it to your collection I think it is worth it because the price on this one is still somewhat affordable compared to the big sister classic flap or even some of the other classic which is way more expensive this one is now retail for 2950 US dollars plus taxes it used to be a lot cheaper the price has gone up a thousand dollars so that's about 30% increase I got this one back in the days for maybe 1900 US dollars before tax 30% which is a lot but we're talking about over the course of 10 15 years or so and look at this one it's still in such great condition nothing is wrong with it it's so durable and so functional and i think it's just such a great everyday bag if your heart desire a classic flap then go for the classic flap maybe this is a great bag to try out the brand if you want to start your chanel collection and i think if you pick the right combination which for me i would always recommend to get the caviar in this bag only because it's gonna be your everyday bag it's gonna be my travel bag so the caviar is gonna be more durable than the lambskin so yeah pick your combination i love the caviar i love the gold hardware so that is my combination but you know if you pick the right combination i think you're gonna really enjoy this bag i was surprised myself on how much i get to use this bag not this one this one when i got this 15 years ago the main reason why i got it was because of the price because it was more affordable than the other bags and today it's still one of the most affordable bags in the Chanel collection. So I think it's a great bag to add to your collection. It's a great bag to start your collection. On all, I really do enjoy this bag and I am in love with this color. It's just so pretty and I can't wait to take her on my next couple of trips. And that would be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy and if you do, give it a thumbs up. And as usual, please subscribe to my channel. 
and click on the bell so that you get notified the next time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye for now.